Oh, there you go. <laughs> This is my husband Jared. This is my wife Jenny. This is Cherry Pie Cottage. Episode 86. What? We're getting so old, y'all. We're almost to 90. Will we make it to 90 before the end of the year? We need four more episodes. Mm -hmm. No. We have two in November and we have two in December. But we talked about just doing like a vlogmas. Mm -hmm. Just vlogging in. December, but our vlogmas is not going to be like an everyday vlogmas. It's going to be like once, maybe twice a week, but, but I know we totally skipped over the intro, <laughs> but so welcome to my office. <laughs> um, we live in Lubbock, Texas. Yep. We absolutely positively really, really love it here. Is that better? No. <laughs> that, that is worse. Um, so welcome to all of our new viewers. Yes. Stick around. We have a lot of fun here. We're ridiculous. We try to. Yes. We are ridiculous, though. Um, we do get off topic. This is supposed to be a knitting um, show, but we get off topic a, a lot, lot. A lot of rabbit holes. Yeah. Um, returning viewers, y'all already know. Yep. I don't even need to explain. So, um, we are filming in my office today mm -hmm. because it is Halloween. Mm -hmm. We have no candy. Well, we, we have a very small yeah. amount of candy, which our, our daughter will be handing out. So, yeah. you might hear the doorbell a few times. But in the past, this. yeah, in the past we've gotten like one or two kids and that's about it. So, well, in the past, we usually have our porch light off, and by the yeah. time it's dark, if there's not a porch light on, then they yeah. don't, they stop coming. Well, we have our porch light off now, but yet they're still ringing the doorbell. True. Oh, excuse me. So, Halloween, we're in my office, mm -hmm. so that way we don't get erupted by the front door, mm -hmm. um, and we don't have to move everything off the table, even though that stuff's going to have to go off the table soon because the table's going to get put up into storage because tomorrow's November 1st, which means Christmas! So, tomorrow I start turning my house into a winter wonderland, which I'm really, really excited about. I don't have time to do much tomorrow because I have to get the update in the shop. What? Oh, no, I was tapping my arm. Oh. I have to get the update in the shop, and I have to edit the podcast, so... At the very least, all the Christmas mugs are getting switched out. So. Oh, good. So that one that got left on my shelf will find has finally come around the horn and is <laughs> able to be used again. <laughs> um, he. So before we we move on and talk about the door, the half door, what's been going on? Right, right there, half door. What's been going on? I made a half door. <laughs> <laughs> Rosie cannot jump over it. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> um. Okay, I watched this dog. Y'all saw Rosie in the last episode. Yeah, the box stood about where the doorknob is. Yeah. Well, okay, so, yeah, we, we had a box that was about yay high, somewhere in there. And it was what her kennel came in. And she was just using it, blocked the doorway. Rosie just walked up and said, nah. Whoop, right no up. running jump or anything. Just, just stood there and flat footed, flat footed as can be. Then I watched her out the living room from behind <laughs> the couch, just flat footed up and over the couch. Yeah, but I think she knows that there was a soft landing there, and it's not as far but as a fall on the other side. Maybe. So maybe she. I don't know if y'all just heard that. Yeah, but. That is a daily thing yes. around here. She, she's, she's such she's, she's such a, a derp. derp. But she's that's what derp. we wanted. We like derpy dogs. <laughs> um, she any time that there is a dog on the TV or barking of any kind on the TV, she barks at the TV. Yes, which she, then causes Kiki, our other dog, 
Who's smart enough to know to, it's not, there's nothing to, on the TV. To know that nothing on the TV is real. Yeah. Okay. It's real, but it's not there in the house. It makes her jump up and run to the front door. And start barking. And start barking as though somebody's trying to break into the house. And then Kiki comes back around the couch and looks at us like, I feel dumb. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, by the way, Ro I, Rosie Rosie also barks at herself in the mirror. Yeah, and then so. runs into our bathroom. What? What? She picked up the freaking toy box and walked around with it on her head. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to come in here and say that? <laughs> oh my goodness. And our daughter's right over yeah. there. You come, can come on in. Sorry, y'all. So, our dog just did something stupid. We have Rosie, the young one. Rosie. Yeah, Rosie. We have a toy box out there, and she picked it up and then walked around with it on her head. Like a hat. <laughs> and they got scared. Oh, look, here's the derpy one now. Come here. Come here, Rosie. Here's come here, you can come say hi. Come here. It's the baby. Come here. She's yeah. like, no. Oh, there she is. There she is. He's Rosie Lynn. So the toy box is now in the middle of the floor collapsed. Say hi. So. Say hi. This is Rosie. And Kiki's right here. Hand me the, hand me the baby. This is the baby. Yes, this is the baby. This is the baby. Oh, I'm in the tank. <laughs> and that's the princess. Right there. Hi. Yes. So. Can you? Oh we, my we goodness, got, her legs. We we got a we got a big old cup of black coffee and a little cup of mocha. Yeah. Or latte. A latte. So, Kiki so. is almost five, oh and she God. is almost eight months old. She is. And Kiki is like 80 pounds. <laughs> By the way, y'all, I have forgiven him for bringing home a puppy. Because she was housebroken in three days and learned how to sit in less than a day. She has is learning from Kiki. So, and they play. But this is not a dog time. podcast. No. So. so. But Rosie gave us. Okay. You want to tell? Ooh. Woo! <laughs> okay. The camera moved. <laughs> okay, time out. Bear with. The camera just turned. <laughs> Bear with. Okay. See, told you if you're new. There we go. Rabbit holes. Ugh. So you you wanna turn that way? I do not. <laughs> yeah, you do. You gonna turn that way? You can tell them about this. This. <laughs> this. Phineas profile right here. Is what happens when you stay out in the sun for a trunk or treat. And you're a ginger. And, <laughs> and yeah. <laughs> well, five hours? Yeah. Roughly five hours. Uh, I got there at noon. We started at two. Then it went until five o'clock. Yeah. So. So. Sitting in the bed of a pickup truck, handing out candy to small begging children. Mm -hmm. So, Act like that, you love me. that was, if I have to, that was my afternoon. Rude. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah. Um, she's, uh, all this to say Rosie is a derp. No. But we love her. Yes. We want, we want the derpy dogs. Um, <laughs> yeah. He has been fully forgiven. He still has to get up with her on the weekends because I'm not doing that. I didn't bring home the puppy. And <laughs> cuz she's not trained this dog, to sleep. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, so my alarm goes off 4:30 ish in the morning during the week. Yesterday I think she let us sleep until about 8. Yeah. Yesterday. Yeah. So that was nice. Today 6:30 Okay. It was six fifteen. Six fifteen <laughs> in the flipping morning. And she's like dancing around, screaming in her kennel. Yes. She needs to go out and go potty. Ugh. But it is what it is. She'll it she'll is. eventually get to the way Kiki is, but he's not enjoying having to get up with her. But I'm not doing it. So. <laughs> and during the week, it's fine. Yeah. It's fine because. She relaxes until my alarm goes off. She sleeps until my alarm goes off. Then, if I snooze it, then she goes she, crazy. She kind of settles down a little bit, 
Sometimes, sometimes yeah. I, I have to go ahead and get up on the first she, alarm. She doesn't pee on her bed, though. No. She holds it. And so when she starts acting crazy like that, it's usually like, hey, Dad, can't hold it anymore. you got to let me out. Yeah. So, and I think that last night she went to bed earlier than she would normally. Possibly. And that's why she had to get up at 6.30, which she was doing good. She held it for an extra two hours than normal. And Friday night, I think Michael just put her to bed way later, so she was able to go out later. Yeah. So, and, yeah. But, yeah. That's what's been going on. Um, we currently have a cow going on. Of for, course. Well, it's because I just released the pattern. The mini happy cow. Yes. K-A-L. I mean, there is a cowl, too, but this is the shawl. That's why I said cow. Mm-hmm. So it's just it's mini happy cow. So this K-A-L. one, yes, the shawl or the wrap is made for twenty four minis. You don't have to do twenty four minis. You could do twelve. You could make it wider. You could make it shorter. You can make it. Um. You you could throw yeah. you know maybe two extra inches down here and and have a full on afghan. I mean, the thing is huge. So, yes, it's very, very, and I only used, I had enough of this yarn left over, I was able to make scrappy socks out of it. So, it's fingering weight minis, so those advents that are coming up, but you have till the end of the year to get your faux done. Um, we are running it in our Facebook group. There is a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't have post a post. Oh. And um put your picture of your foe in the uh comment. comment section. And we're also running it on Instagram and I cannot think tonight because <laughs> it's nighttime. It is. Um <laughs> and we're also running it on Instagram and it the hashtag is <coughs> mini happy cow. And if it's not correct, well I'll put it down below too so you'll know exactly what it is. Um, but that's really all that's going on. And today was the last day of my Halloween advent. So, y'all want to see the yarn? Do you want to see the yarn? I don't know if you've seen the yarn yet or not. Okay. So, and the way I like to do my advents, because they're usually based on movies, is I try to do them the way that they appear in the movie. I know you really want that one. I like that one. So that one. I might knit again with that. <laughs> Can I show it? Um, in a minute. Hold on. Oh, I thought you'd already shown all these. I have on Instagram, but I wanted to do them in order. I haven't done them on here. Mm. So the very first colorway was this one. And this is the Conjure. Then it was this one and this one is another glorious morning makes me sick so and we've got the green from Winifred and her pops of orange for her fiery hair color then I believe that one's next yes that one's next then we have this one this is Binks which okay I didn't want to just do a straight black yeah, no. colorway so the he green. has these like bright green eyes. Yeah, the green really works. It was probably last year, year before maybe, when I realized two things about that movie. One, Binks' first name was not Zachary. I grew up watching the movie and I thought his name was Zachary. Mm -mm. No, his name is Thackeray. With a T-H. Thackeray Binks. Okay. Second thing I realized is that the dude that played Thackeray Binks. The human. The human that played the human Thackeray Binks is the same human who played the human McGee in NCIS. I didn't realize that until like last year, year before maybe. And it blew my mind. It really did. But I do like that. That looks really good, Ben. Thank you. So then the next one is <laughs> Kiss Me, I'm Allison. 
Which, when you think about it, was a really strange line for the director to put in there. But, when you think about it, an annoying little sister would do something like that because she was mimicking, she was making fun of her brother. It was Danny making fun of her brother, and she's supposed to be like eight. It's still so, really yes, weird. Yes, but this movie was also made in the 90s. It's kind of cringe. It was um, a made-for-TV movie at that. Yes. I don't care. It's my favorite one. So, then, the next one is, what do you call them? Yabos. Again, this is Danny, totally embarrassing her brother Max, but directly in front of Allison. This is the colorway. This is the, she asked this question in front of Max and Allison. So, and I just took the colors of their outfits and put them together on a skein. Minus Danny. Then we have the black flame candle. And the candle is a like creamy color with like this color writing on it. And then of course, you know, black flame. Then the next color what is it? Haha. -ha, is this one. I smell children. Which of course is one of Mar is Mary's quote. So this is all the colors that Mary wears, including her purple hair. Mary is very colorful, if you didn't know. She has purple hair. Yep, black hair with purple streaks in it. Oh yeah, look at that. See, purple streaks. She is. Quite colorful. If you want to see the pictures, the inspiration pictures that I use for each of these colorways, you can go to my Instagram and look at them. Um, then the next color is Billy, which of course was Winifred's boyfriend that she killed and sewed his mouth shut because he flirted with his sis with her sister. Do you so, know what his last name was? Matherson. No. No. Name was William. No. Yeah. No, it was Billy. No, it was William. Billy was his nickname. No, no cheat. Don't cheat. What is it? Butcherson. Thank you. It's Billy Butcherson. I knew it was Butcherson something. <laughs> you but didn't it say is, anything, Butcherson. It, it is William, though. His name is William. Mm. One moment. Bear with. Bear with. Bear with. Bear with. William Butcherson. Oh, okay. See? Okay, but it is Butcherson. Yes, but his, he was Billy. So he... Um, so she awakens him because they can't go in the graveyard. So this is Billy. Then... The next color is not that one. No, I know. That one's the last one. Um, is a muck, a muck, a muck, and that is Sarah's, and that's where they are standing out amongst all the trick or treaters, and Sarah's jumping up and down, going a muck, a muck, a muck, and this is all her blonde hair with her purpley cranberry purpley um dress on. Then, what was the next one? Ooh, this one's my favorite, y'all. So this one is, I put a spell on you. And I took all the colors from the scene and threw them on here, which it's greens it's and purples. a lot of color yeah. in that scene. It's greens and purples and oranges and stuff, but I also always see like a pink tint. Like the whole scene is just like in a pink tint. It's probably the lighting. Yeah. So that's why it's very, that when I, I, I've always seen it like that. Yeah. Yeah, see? Yeah, there is a pink hue to yeah. the whole scene. And that one has got two inspiration pictures because you have the witches at the front and then you have the audience. Then, the next one was Farewell Sanderson's and it's after they have trapped them in the kiln at the school and burned them up. And you've got the blue sky of, what, dawn? 
No, it's not dawn. It's like midnight. Or not midnight, but like it's night probably sky. Like, probably it's like, like a bluey purple. Three, four in the morning. With green smoke going up. Then the last color is the one he grabbed yep. and apparently really likes. Eh. Then why did you grab it? Because I saw that. Oh. And I was like, oh, that's cool. And then I pulled it out and then all that just kind of. Yeah. I mean, it still looks really good. This graveyard sunrise. When Thackeray is reunited with his sister. Yes. Ghost Thackeray. Yes. He finally got to die. So you have the sunrise, and then you have the gates in. The All the ghosts. blood that's been spilt overnight. No, the red is for the sunset. Sunrise. See? Sunrise, whatever. Oh. Then the final color is not actually a scene from the movie, but. It's the Sanderson sisters. So it's just like their faces. So you have the pink of their faces. And then you have Winifred's green. No. Is hers green? Hold on. Yes. Winifred's green. They all have their hoods on. Green. And then um, Mary's cranberry. And then Sarah's purple. Cranberry. So that's the full scan. I wanted something not, I wanted it kind of so it would mesh with a lot of the other colors, basically. Something that you could use in a big project. Um, but that is my, it was my Halloween advent this year. Um, I do plan, where did I put the bag? There it is. I do plan on doing another one next year. No clue what the theme is yet. Um, probably won't know for a while. Also, there's going to be, it's going to be the way you order it a little bit different because Etsy has changed their policy on shipping and I'm only allowed to put it up for shipping out 10 weeks. So I can't start it, put it up in February and leave it up. So I have to figure out a different way. Basically, I'm probably going to be able to do it where I can do like payment installments and like the first couple of payments will be a digital download and then your final one will be ordering the advent so basically just confirming so it's an advent for the low low cost of three easy payments of it'll be the same price total but you'll be able to have so and if you don't order the first round that's fine if you order the first round you'll get a code that you'll put in for the next payment so um, Etsy made some stupid rules. Basically, I can only put um, something down, pre-order, for 10 weeks out. So instead of being able to put my listings up in February and have them go out at the end of August, I now have to make sure it is 10 weeks out from August, which is like June. So I have to figure out something so... I can get it out there because I really don't want to give myself 10 weeks. I'd like to know about how many I'm needing to die well before that because I like to get them died before June. And I don't want to die up a bunch and then I'm just stuck with a bunch of advents that nobody wants. So, basically. I only want to die up how many I sold. I don't want to die up extras. But I'll explain all that when it gets closer to time. Um... But that's all we have for what's been going on. So then it's time to move on to Faux party. party. Hey, babe. Yeah, babe. You don't have any foes, do you? I don't. See, I was nice. I don't. You don't. Oh, oh, are you waiting? Yeah. Oh, okay. I was nice to you, so why oh, okay. are you being jerk face? Hey, babe. Yeah. Do you have any foes? I have one. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, these are socks for. What about the shirt? Yeah, I do have her shirt. I can show you that. Um, so, I have, they're wet, so they're kind of like falling down. These are Haley's friend socks oh, that nice. I knit this month. This is Smelly Cat. Be right back. You okay. keep talking about that. Okay. So this was Smelly Cat, and this yarn is Night Owl Fibers. She currently has up the month, the um, November's month, which is the Holiday Armadillo. I've already ordered mine. Y'all should go order yours. Uh... But this is Smelly Cat. The contrast colorway 
is a mixture, so I ran out of the original yellow. So we have my colorway, which is Sunshine, and half of the cuff is Sunshine too. This is a yellow from Knit Picks on Stroll, and then the other half of the cuff is the same yellow. So, but this is Smelly Cat. Let me back up. We have a light, like, right there. Um, because the camera is sitting directly in front of the window, so we don't have a lot of room to put up our normal lights. Because my office is a closet. <laughs> it's supposed to be like an enclosed back porch. It's like insulated and stuff, but anyways, it's a little room. It's supposed to be used for an office, but I have two desks and all of my stuff for my business in here except for the dyeing stuff. I have one more foe. Haley! Mer, Do you have your shirt? Do you have a foe? No. But can we, can we add in? Can we, can we add in my purse? Sure. Okay. They're not right this second. Yeah. Haley, come here. So, Haley's boss at work, Haley casually mentioned a couple of months ago. No. How long ago? Days ago. No. How long ago did oh, you mention I had? Yeah. A few weeks ago that I have a cricket and I do shirts and bags and stuff like that. Well, since today's Halloween, her boss asked her on Friday if they bought the shirts and the vinyl, if I could make them shirts for to look like Pac-Man and the Pac-Man ghosts. So I made a Pac-Man shirt and six ghost shirts. Oh, wrong direction. You're gonna come over here. Over I'm here. And Haley's wearing the ghost shirt. One of them. You want to stand up though, because no, right now it just looks like. <laughs> there. That didn't make it so, better. All the ghosts were different colors. The eyeballs were all the same. But she has a picture of the Pac Man shirt. I do not. I'll send it to you. So. I'm taking your spot. But. Anyways. So. Mm -hmm. I have like seven shirts as a foe, too, but I only have one to show y'all. <laughs> might be able to, if she can get me the picture, I might be able to insert it in here later. But that's all the foes I have. So, thank you, Haley. You're welcome. It's all in here. Are we doing the, the, the thing or no? Do you want to just not worry about it since we only have the one and just maybe save it for next time? Haley's trying and saying she could take over for snack attack. I want to try all the different pop tarts. Stop trying to show me out. <laughs> okay. We gotta move on. Yes. Love you. Love you. Super chaotic this time. That's okay. Sometimes those are our best episodes. Um hey we'll be back. So now it's time to move on to Whip, whip it. it. Whip, whip it, it good. good. Hey babe. Yes. What you whipping up? A lot. What are you whipping up? I have a few buns in the oven, but... Mm -hmm. Still haven't made that squirrel yet. I just had Hush. Her birthday was last week. Hush. <laughs> okay, so I finished Haley's sock. S socks. <laughs> and I cast on for the next pair because the pair for Michael this month was also my precious, which I forgot to add in anyways. I had it my precious. Um... So, I have the toes done. <laughs> but her friend's yarn. What are you doing? Her friend's yarn this year, or this year, this month, this next month will be I'd pee on any one of you. So, and I can see why Michael really didn't want this because it's super pink and super like. Looks like peppermint ice cream. <laughs> It looks like when they try to make peppermint ice cream, but they put, like, weird yeah. colors in for the peppermint. Yeah. So. Or, like, a bubble gum, maybe. That's one, and that's in my bag, Happy Little Yarn. Amy from Happy Little Yarn made me. I'll pick them up all later. Or when you let the dogs in, or whatever. Um, then, I, oh, yeah, by the way, y'all, I'm wearing my um, Sturgill shirt, sweater. Because it's actually kind of cool enough, and it's, you know, short sleeves. So I put it on today after church. It was not cold enough to wear it at church because I teach babies, so it's a lot of moving around. So this was not going to work. Um, but this is my So Faded sweater. I believe that's what it's called. Yeah, So Faded. Um, 
by Drea Renee Knits. Can you hold that? Holding. So I'm not going to go over the colorways again because I've shown this the last three episodes. But I have gotten quite a bit more. I've got half an inch more in the current color and then I can add on the final color. So there we go. And I like my I like my sweaters long. I'm long bodied and I like my sweaters to be longer. But there we go. I'm really, really excited about this one. And it's fingering weight. So that means I'll be able to wear it more in this area. And that is in my Knit for Brains giant canvas bag. Oh, this, oh that needed to go in there. And I can't remember if, yeah. okay, so I did work on this a little bit. This is my Cardinia Wrap by Amba. Again, I showed this on the last episode, but I have, please don't fall off the needles. Where's the other needle? Where's the other needle? One moment. Go. One moment. And what did you do? Fell off. Three stitches fell off. But I have to fix this one because it came off. Bear with. I've added quite a bit more of that third color on here. So, and you got to remember that there's like 300 something stitches on here. So it takes longer to do a row. So I did about an inch, maybe an inch and a half. No, two inches on here. So there's that one. And that's in my ginger snap bag. Wizard of Oz bag. I remember the pattern this time. It's impressive, right? Soups. Yeah. And then my last one is in my cozy up knits bag from Jojo. Jojo bags. They're mama. And this is a cozy up pattern. It is what the crux. And I'm using leftovers, basically. I stash busted for this. Um, I've been obsessively knitting on this one because where the Dr. Pepper stitch marker is is where I was last time I showed it to y'all. So I've done quite a bit of work on this one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So this is all like leftovers and that kind of stuff. And the dogs are playing. Apparently, they didn't get all their play out outside. <laughs> Do they need to go back outside? Yes. Okay. Did they actually knock when you yeah. let them in? Well, one of them did. And that didn't mean they're ready to come in. Yes, it does. It means one of them is. Anyways, I think she's got it. That one wasn't ready to come in. Just let her out. Is the porch light on? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Leave her out there. She'll. You're supposed to be handing those out, not eating them. There's no trick or treaters, and it's white. <laughs> you know how long it's been since I had one of these? Ugh. My 19 year old is eating a candy bracelet. Your 19 year old also dressed like Pac Man. <laughs> no, Pac no like, like a, a Pac, Pac Man ghost. Like a yeah. Pac Man ghost. <laughs> And has uh -huh. unicorns on your backpack. What did you expect me to do? <laughs> I had a long day of adulting. <laughs> oh, good. Like I said, she's our semi-adult, y'all. <laughs> you just shot it into your hair. No, 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 no it's in your no, hair. There's a piece in your hair. <laughs> That's cool. No, now it's on the floor. I don't know where it went. <laughs> you have candy in your office. Um, I don't want candy in my office because that makes ants come in my office and I don't want that. Ants and Rosie. <laughs> yeah, we definitely don't want Rosie to get candy. We'll find it later. 
Or did you find it now? I think I just found it. Okay, cool. Okay, so. That's all I have for whips. Do you have, and you said you had no whips. I have no. Whips. no. Then it's time to move on to... My precious! Can I show them? Or do you want to go first? I want to go first. Okay. Okay, so this is really cool, y'all. So. Oh, this? Yeah, this. All right, so where uh, Michael and I go dove hunting, this was probably two, maybe three years ago, I found this. And I picked it up because it was just sitting on top of the ground. And I said, wow, that doesn't look right. That looks like something that shouldn't be here. And if y'all know... We live in Lo Landlock, we, USA. We live in Lubbock, Texas, okay? If you know, if you don't know where Lubbock, Texas is, think of a map of Texas. That square part that sticks up, we're like just below that. Panhandle. We are just below the panhandle. Um, there is not a body of water within like 100,000 miles of here. So... I think I have some Texas earrings back there. Yeah. Back there. So you I, can I show don't. the shape. Well, here. Here's one right here. Can I show one of these? Yeah. Um, no, because those no. are for the... Okay. Well, anyway. You get it. Yeah. No water around. And I said, that doesn't look like it should be here. So I picked it up. And like I said, this is probably two or three years ago. Okay. Now, what does that look like to y'all? Now, some, a couple people were like, oh, yeah, no, it kind of looks like an arrowhead. No, that doesn't look like an arrowhead. Well, that's what um, Brady thought it was. That looks like a shark tooth to me. Okay. And so, one day, I was like, you know what? I saw it sitting on top of my dresser, and I said, you know what? I'm going to take it over to Texas Tech. They have a museum there. Natural History Museum. Natural History Museum. I said, I'm going to take it over to Texas Tech and have somebody look at it. And so I did. And sure enough, I got an email back saying, that is a shark tooth. That was in Lubbock, Texas, or uh, Lubbock County. It wasn't in the city, but Lubbock County, Texas. Okay. Now, they did say it is too weathered to tell exactly, like, what species it came from. Me, personally. He hopes. I hope. I think it'd be really cool if it was. Okay. Um, I think it's a megalodon tooth. Okay. Now, yes, I know what you're saying. It's too small to be a megalodon tooth, Jared. Yeah. Okay. That's what me and Haley both That's what me. everybody has said. However, <laughs> baby megalodons. Okay. <laughs> baby megalodons had teeth, too. We have pictures of us standing inside a megalodon's jaw. Yes, bone. yes. I am not saying that this is like a full-grown megalodon tooth. Okay, those things are huge. They're like the size of my palm. Okay. Keep talking. I was going to try and find that picture. But this one could be a baby megalodon tooth because I did find a, a scale chart, and it said that the medium, like the small teeth, were about an inch, inch and a half to two and a half inches long. That's about that size. So, I think, I hope, I think it'd be really cool. Megalodon tooth. Here you go. So, yeah. Okay. Yes. That is a megalodon jaw. Is a, is, is a grandpa megalodon tooth. Now, that is a replica. And that's that is from, a, was it a replica? I thought it was a real thing. I think it's a replica. I think it's a real thing. I think it's a replica based off of a real one Maybe. that they found, but they're not going to put that out for photo ops. Right. This was in Okinawa, Japan at the yes. aquarium there. Okay, so you see the teeth. Okay, yes, I know. This is not the size of those teeth, but baby megalodon. All right. But sure enough, they confirmed it is a tooth. Now, they did... They did uh, try to sell me the, the story of, like, anywhere from 5 million years ago to 23 million years ago, blah, 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 whatever. Here's... They didn't do any kind of, like, testing on it, carbon dating or anything like that. They're simply going off of what 
they accept as the timeline of when there were would have been sharks around here. Okay. But I think it's really cool because I just found it on the ground. Like, I didn't have to dig or nothing for it. Okay, well, here's a picture of Texas that you could use to show them where we're kind of at. Eh, they get it. Y'all get it. Okay, think of a map of Texas. The, the panhandle, the square part that sticks up, we're just below that. Right there. So, yeah. So, but in that area. Or you can just look at a map, too. It's um, like but eight hours. It's like 12 hours away from the coast. No. No, from because... From the coast. No, because we are closer... Well, no, El Paso is closer to Los Angeles than it is to Beaumont. So we're, like, in the middle. So, yeah, we're, we're about... We're, yeah, we're about 12 hours. Because it's Either like, direction. It's like eight hours to El Paso from yeah. here. So, yeah. they're 12 hours. We're not even, like... Yeah, so we're 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 like even. So if no matter which direction you go, even yeah. if you go south, it's about twelve hours to get to the coast. It's more than twelve hours going west. Yeah, depends on how fast. Way you it, no, <laughs> no. Well, yeah, because you have to get through New Mexico, which has like a speed limit of forty, because New Mexico's. Is an amazing state, a wonderful state, and I wouldn't say anything against anybody from New Mexico. Stop but y'all could do y'all could do with a higher speed limit. Stop lying. Most of New Mexico is so boring to drive through, but we think the same thing of Oklahoma, so we would avoid yeah. going through Oklahoma coming back from North Carolina. Yes. So if if it's boring to drive through, we're gonna avoid it. Yeah, we're not gonna go back if we don't yeah. have to. Sorry, but we do. We like to travel and we like to drive everywhere we can instead of flying. So, but then again, living in Okinawa, having to take a 15-hour flight just to get home. Yeah. I'd much rather drive, and it might take that same amount, but I can stop whenever I want and use a normal-sized bathroom and get snacks when I want and take whatever I want with me and not have to worry about it being 3.5 fluid ounces. Right. Or losing my luggage. Right. So, so that's my precious... <laughs> Really cool, I think. But hey, babe. Yeah. Do you have any precious? Yeah. Oh, sorry, guys. Whew. Okay. It's past so, her bedtime. No, it's not. <laughs> I just didn't sleep good last night. Um, I got my colorway for this month from Night Owl Fibers, and this one is Pivot. Pivot. So this one is Michael's for this month. This will be the last pairs that I knit for them for this year. And then I'm probably going to order the one for December and then that'll be it. I ordered a skein from her every month and I don't know if I'll be able to do it again next month, next year. So, um, we kind of have plans to maybe try and go do a big 20th anniversary trip to Disney World as a family. Well, that's not next year. No, but that's like three years and we need to save up. Yeah. Plus, DFW is in September next year. Sorry, we have a big family. We have a big anniversary trip planned, so we can't afford to do both. <laughs> Plus, we have a daughter in college too. <laughs> so, um, mostly Dallas, really. But we are trying to save up for other things and pay off debt. And so, I do enjoy her yarn. I just don't know if I'll be able to do it again next year. So we're trying to like control the spending a little bit. So, but this, I was, I did because I knit a pair of socks for my kids each month. So it was like a, it was a Christmas presents basically is what I saw it as. So they're going to get really expensive Christmas socks this year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but that's okay. They are so knit worthy when it comes to socks. And with our son being 14 and growing six inches overnight every other month. And, and phobic of going around without socks, socks on his feet. Oh the boy has a tan line around his ankles yeah. because only because he refuses to ever take socks off. Unless he's going to bed or getting Unless in the he, shower. Yes. Shower, shower and bed are the only two times he goes without something covering his feet. And it's not even wool. He's not wearing his hand knit socks. It's like... 
commercial cotton socks. socks. And he complains all summer long. It's hot. I'm so hot. Take your socks off. I don't like going without socks. This is a new thing. This has not been his entire life. He he yeah. thinks that it's been his entire life, but I digress. We're not going to complain about our children in this episode. Just <laughs> <laughs> tune in next late. time. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, our children are really really good. They really are. But they're still our children, and we live with them. I would dare say that our children are better than other people's children. Yes, because our children made us I, be okay with other teenagers. I wouldn't say they're better than your children. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. But... No, our kids are real. <laughs> our kids are great. But as you know, everybody, even when you're married, you get annoyed with your husband. Or your, you know, your spouse. This is news to me. Oh, shut up. <laughs> no, it's not. Because I annoy you, too. <laughs> but that's part of marriage. You know, make sure that you can be okay with them annoying you for the rest of your life. Basically. Really? <laughs> As we said last episode, divorce is not an option. <laughs> he brought home a puppy. So... Just oh, gonna leave that there. Well, I, I'd also like to point out. Can I show the show notes? No, I, I already like, said I'd that. I'd like to point out this line. I already right said that. There. But I have forgiven you. That does not mean I'm ever going to forget it, though. So. Well, I hope not. It'd be weird if all of a sudden you forgot we had a second dog. No, it's. I'm saying that you. I'm not going to forget that you just brought home the puppy without even talking to me about it. That's what I'm not going to forget. You've been <laughs> forgiven, but it doesn't mean you're not going to still pay the consequences like getting up at the crack of dawn with mm -hmm. her when she needs to get up and go potty because I ain't doing it. Mm -hmm. I didn't bring her home. He did. So that's part of training her. <laughs> uh, yeah. Moving on. <laughs> do you have anything else to add to? I do not. Okay. Do. Then it's time to move on to Shop News. So, there is a shop update tomorrow at 4, but by the time this goes up, the shop update should have already happened. So, there is, it's all the Christmas collection, minus the earrings, because there was a minor snafu. Those The earrings will be going up within the next week or two. So, um, I can give you a preview of what some of them might look like. Here, you want to do it because you can get them up closer than I can. So, there's those. And they are double layered. So, and, and like, it's the same on the back as it is on the front. Um, dangly. Yes. I have, mm, these are much better than the other ones. I have actually removed the other ones from the shop because I don't like them as much. Ah. Good job. I know, right? Look at these. these ones are actually really cool. I don't wear earrings, obviously, but these ones are pretty cool. Oh. One's supposed to flip around. So. So, and it's black sparkle on the back. And those are not, like, glued together. Those. Yeah separate and move around and, and then, dangly as well so yeah but those are really cool again i wouldn't wear them but so that's just a few of them i have a lot more in different styles and stuff um i also have these Candy canes, sparkly candy canes. So, you didn't double layer these? No, I did not. Mm -hmm. Um, these are just single layers, so they're. I mean, they're really, really light. Yeah. So, but I would imagine for for the women out there that wear these kind of earrings, you can wear them and. Mm -hmm not even really feel them. It's not like pulling, hanging, you know, causing stress on your on your lobes. So, 
Bear with. Sorry. Um, my friend, a uh, friend of ours is bringing our son home from a Halloween party from the church. Bear with. Sorry. Bear with. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Transportation con. Anyways, um, that's one of them. I do have smaller ones, too. Smaller ones. Smaller candy canes. Yes. Um, you know what might be kind of cool? Let me see that smaller one. What if? Double them? Yeah. I don't have as many of those as I do those. Like, you hang a little one with the big one. I do have one facing the opposite direction, too. Maybe do it the opposite? I don't know. I, don't uh, know. I wouldn't do it opposite because then it just looks like a weird arch. Well, see, I was kind of thinking about doing this, but maybe not. I don't know. Mm. But you could show it. Yeah. So. So, I'm just thinking, thinking out loud here, but what I was suggesting is double, like, hang a smaller candy cane on top of the bigger candy cane. Just to like give it, it kind of a little depth. I don't like you know. it. Well, I mean, you don't have yeah. to like it. Um, so I got some new hardware for these, and I actually removed the other earrings that were in the shop because I was not actually happy with the final result. So I did some research, and I have figured out a way that I like them better that looks better, like these. I like this double layer looked way better. So... Um, plus I had some that I had bought and when I went to go put the HTV on the back of it, it like melted under my, um, words, heat press under my heat press. Yeah. So I was not happy with that at all. So I have figured out a better way and the ones that were in the shop are no longer in the shop and will not be relisted because I'm just not happy with the way they turned out. So these are way better. I'm really excited about them, but I need some more time to get them finished up. So most of them are going to be this double layered. The only ones that aren't are the candy canes. But the candy canes were too cute. I need to trim those still. Mm -hmm. um, the candy canes were too cute to not go ahead and put them in. So, but that is the plan for the shop update. Those will come later. However, the rest of the Christmas collection has come out. So, I went non-traditional on the Christmas colors this way, y'all. Um, I was tired of just doing red and green every year in different ways. So, this one. What? You're, you're tired of doing red and green in different ways. So, you did... No, Red there's no there's a different way. There's mint and there's pink and there's blue. Okay. So don't even. So this one, can you put it up to the camera, please? This one is retro Christmas. Turn it sideways so you can see the whole thing. There you go. This is retro Christmas. You know, back when they had like pink Christmas trees. Oh, you'll pop a yellow right there. I know. I put in. I put in yellow too. There's like different pops of colors all in this. So, there's green and blue and mint and pink and yellow. So, let me see if I can find y'all some blue. Right there? No, that's just more green. Right there. There's blue. All down in there. So, there's more blue than that. It's just twisted up. But you know what? You can undo the skein. It's fine. No, it's fine. I'll let so, you do it. Why? You really want to do it. Because I don't want to mess it up. You're not going to mess it up. You don't, you don't know that. Yeah, I do. So, lots of different... Blue. Yeah. So, I got some greens pink and 
back when they had like pink Christmas trees and stuff. There you go. There's a bunch of the different pops of colors. So, what? What Barbie dream house had pink Christmas trees? Back in like the 50s, because that's when they had the, like the tinsel trees. Like the silver tinsel trees. All right, I have watched A Christmas Story time and again. That was a real Christmas tree. And nobody had pink Christmas trees. That was a real Christmas tree. So, and there we go. So this is more of a non-traditional Christmas colorway, which I'm quite pleased with. Yeah, there's some more blues. So, I really, really like this one. <clears throat> then we have Let It Snow. That one's really nice. So we have white, and then... There's some pops of green in this one for like the trees. Um, but you know, blue sky, mostly snow with some trees popping out was, that's what I was thinking with this one. Then we have gingerbread house, you know, where it's got the hall, they've done holly, like iced it to make it look like it's got holly hanging all over it with a little bit of red, but it's mostly green and brown. So this one's Gingerbread House, which I really like this one too. Haley wants a sweater out of this one. Um, this is the last big update. Can you tell him that Hesper's bringing him? Um, this is the last big update of the year. So I'm not saying it's the last update of the year, but I do not have plans to dye any more yarn to put in the shop. Um, if these sell out super quick, I might put up um, pre-orders for them. But right now my plan is whatever's in the shop is what's in the shop because I have been working like a mad woman lately and I just, November, December especially, I like to just take the month off and just <clears throat> enjoy the holiday and be with my family. So, um, I still will have my Black Friday sale like I always do, which more details to come on that when it gets closer. But, I also added in bags, y'all. Like, a lot of bags. That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> you can show it? Oh, Rosie's whining. I got it. Rosie's wanting to come in. Is she? Yeah, she was whining. She was on the table whining because she can hear us. Yeah, Rosie gets up on the table and the chairs out there. This one's going to be a long one, y'all. So, first up, we have Rudolph bags. This is a cool Rudolph bag, too. <laughs> and yes, the nose is glitter. Had to. It's Rudolph. So, the inside fabric, though, is really cute, too. Let's see what the inside has. I still got to put tags on these, but... There's the inside. So this was some, I had some uh, fabric left over from last year's Christmas bags that I just thought was perfect for the inside of these bags. I didn't have a lot, so there's only two of these in the shop. <laughs> these are all small, uh, my small size, which are bit, plenty big enough for two at a time socks or um, a one skein project or whatever. So... But, and this is a canvas fabric, so the inside is not, but there you go. So I have two of the Rudolph bags. I have two of the Rudolph bags. Okay. Well, you were acting like you were wanting to keep it. No, I was, I was looking at something. What? The knots in the, in the wood, because that knot right there and that knot right there correspond to those knots there. Yeah. But Same this one's fabric. at this one's at the bottom and that one's at the top. Okay, it just means I cut it at a different spot. Well, I know. Okay. I get so, the physics of it. The next one is a small zipper bag and I have three of these. Bam. And yeah. That's like foil. Yeah. 
is really dim. So, farm truck with a Christmas tree. Yep. Because this Money. is the third farm truck bag. So, because, yeah, there's a theme. There will probably always be at least, for each season, a new... Yes, it's a different inside Ooh. fabric. Um, for each season, I'm planning to put in a different farm truck. So, but I had to do a red one because Christmas. So, this one just has silvery deer on the inside with, with a bunch of trees. Yep. So I have three of those. Then, sticking with the farm theme, I have <laughs> farm animals wearing Santa hats. <laughs> it's the chicken. The chicken's got a beard. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I love these so much, y'all. <laughs> the chicken has a beard. Yep. And the inside fabric's different for this one too. Oh, yep. Let's see. So I have three of these bags. So Christmas farm animals. So Yeah. Perfect match. And it's red barnwood on the inside. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> you want to get a close up of the chicken beard? <laughs> Chicken's wearing a Santa beard. <laughs> I thought that was too cute. I had to. I kind of went a little crazy on Christmas bags this year. But that's okay. So, because my Christmas bags always sell out mm -hmm. super quick. So, this is definitely all the Christmas bags that are going to be in the shop this year. Then the next one. Christmas gnomes. And that one has the same fabric as the um, farm truck. So <laughs> I love those gnomes. They're so cute. I have three of these, but it's the same. It's the the deer fabric on the, the inside. The silvery deer. Yeah. Then I have a sweater sized gnome bag. Is that a girl gnome? It's a, yeah, Santa girl gnome. It's all sparkly. Yeah, super sparkly. But I have two of these. And this fabric is different on the inside than the other ones. Yeah. Let's see. So, and then... Oh. Black and white plaid with red and green polka dots. So, but you have the Santa gnome and then the other gnomes. One of them has got Christmas trees cut out of his hat and the other one's got snowflakes. It's hard to see the snowflakes on here because it's of the sparkly, glitter. But it does. Yeah. We promise. So I have two of those. But and really this is slightly smaller than my <laughs> sweater size. It's not quite as big, but they're bigger. Bigger bags than my sock size. So, I went a little crazy on the Christmas bags this year because I have the Cricut now and I can do more fun things with the Christmas bags. And I just, I had a bunch, I had some cut files and I wanted to use them all. <laughs> and I went crazy with the Christmas fabric because I hit it up early enough they were not almost out. So, I was happy. Um, but that is all for the shop update. Um... There has been a change to international shipping. So, not my fault, but as most peop most other sellers here in the US know that Europe, is it Europe. Yeah. Europe is now requiring a um what's it called? tariff number. And I and Ed, like Etsy's like you have to put it in otherwise you might not get it. You, um, it's either Europe or just Britain. I can't remember, but you have to put in a tariff code and being able to figure out what each item in the in your product is because each one of them has a different tariff and 
I, I am a one woman show. I do not have time to figure all of that out. Plus, shipping prices have gone through the roof. So, I am no longer shipping anywhere but North America. So, due to a lot of things, which I'm sorry to the to my customers, especially my one in Australia who ordered my Halloween advent the last two years. I'm sorry. I really am. Shipping has just gotten ridiculous. So, and it just keeps going up between when you order and when I actually have to ship it. It was an, it was an extra like 15 bucks more than what you paid. So, I, I just, I can't do it anymore. I can't keep eating the cost. And it's nothing against y'all or anything. It's just, I can't do it anymore, y'all. I'm sorry. Um, but that's really the only shipping change is that I'm only shipping to US, Mexico, and Canada. Which I hate that I had to do that, but being what it is, the last two years have kind of stunk. So are we really surprised that other things have changed too? <laughs> but we're not gonna get into that either. Um, do you have anything to add? Do you have any news about your shop reopening anytime soon? Um, the plan is still to reopen it Black Friday. Um, that's the plan. Let's see if he actually has time with work. Yes. So. We, we, I will keep everybody abreast of the situation. Yeah. So. Yep. So, that is all I have for shop news. Um, I do do custom orders. But it's like, stop, I know what I said, but I had what? to. I didn't, I didn't say anything. And your smile on your face. <laughs> I didn't smile. Yes, you did. I did my... No, you actually smiled, oh. smiled. Anyways, um, I do do custom orders. <laughs> Go ahead and laugh. I didn't I say said, anything. Do do. <laughs> I didn't say anything. No, but your face is saying it for you. <laughs> Anyways, um, I have custom orders. If you would like more than what is listed in the shop, please message me and um, with what base and all of that, and we, I will let you know. Um, usually it's possible. If I can't get a hold of the yarn, however, it's not. So it just depends on being able to get a hold of the yarn. Because my office is tiny. I don't have a lot of room to store a lot of extra... Um, stock basically so whatever I have in stock undyed is usually dyed quickly I buy what I'm planning to dye that month so I don't have extra but I don't mind doing custom orders turnaround time is usually six to ten weeks usually closer to the six weeks sometimes even later or earlier but I have it listed as six weeks just in case you know life gets in the way like it has the last two years Life, uh, finds a way. Yeah. And it was more of, like, the life of the world got in the way <laughs> of my life. But, I digress. <laughs> what? Nothing. What? Nothing, I'm just... Gonna keep your mouth closed? <laughs> um. But, yeah, that's really all I have about shop update. So, uh... Halloween Advent or Halloween. Christmas Advent should be going out this next week. That's the plan. Um, the Texas Christmas kit should be going out in a couple of weeks. Um, but really, that's all I've got. Um, it's time to move on to the tail end. What? Still not about anybody's butt. No butts. No butts. Um, we have a group on Facebook. You gotta answer two questions, answer them correctly, and we will let you in. Super simple questions. Um, dogs are playing again. Super simple questions. We are more active in Facebook. We have a Ravelry group, but we're not active on that anymore. We're not doing any more of the social stuff on Ravelry. <laughs> Ravelry. 
Rosie's telling off her big sister. Let's see how well that works out for her. Yeah. It's a bold move, Cotton. Yeah. Um, anyways, so we have a Facebook group, Cherry Pie Cottage. Please come and join. That's where we run our cows, or we're running them on Instagram with the hashtag. Yep. We both are on Instagram. I am also on TikTok. And it's Cherry Pie Cottage on TikTok, too. Most of the announcements for the shop, though, is done through Instagram or here on YouTube. Your turn. TikTok. Your turn. Here on the YouTubes, uh, do the YouTube thing. Make sure to like and share, like and subscribe. Uh, help us, as we always say, get to a thousand friends. Yep. So that way we can do uh, YouTube lives from our phone. And we can go out somewhere and do something and show you guys a little, little bit of a little bit of the world that we live in. Yep. So, and we can do a big giveaway. And a big giveaway. Yep. Yes. So, with that being said, do you have anything else to add? I don't. Okay, then it's time to sign off. God is good. Read your Bible. Bye, y'all. Bye.